Hello everyone, it's Jeff, and in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a fly with the uh, Chick Swift. This will be my latest video. Um, I wanted to just kind of go over, I've made some modifications. This is version two. Um, I had a little bit of a wreck. And so I figured I'd go over some things. Um, I'm running a different prop and motor. This is actually a spare motor from my um, Adam RC uh, Swordfish. This is a 2306. Um, this is a 1600 kV. And the prop that we're using is a 6x42, 6042 Gem Fam. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I got a little camera on here. And the plane is flying good. And so I figured I'd get this up in the air kind of tell you what my amps are, my speed, um, and just give you guys a good flight. Um, another thing that's different on this version is I added these skids. Uh, these skids, um, definitely recommend them. Work better than the tape. And that's about it. What I saved from the first Chick Swift was the um, outer wings. Um, I had these printed as backups along with the body. So let's get this up into the air and fly it and uh just kind of give you the top we will be flying this on a 2000 milliamp uh, r-line tattoo battery this is a little run cam this is the run cam thumb cam run cam thumb cam um 1080p video it's cheap it was like 50 bucks it is cold as balls it is 27 degrees fahrenheit here in the u.s don't have any clue what that is in celsius because for whatever reason, we just do it differently. And I'll be flying on a DJI 03 air unit um, with the goggles V2. So unfortunately, I cannot share my OSD information, but I'm just going to call it out. Using my Radio Master Boxer ELRS. And um, I'll post up the link. Um, I'll post up some screenshots of all my iNav settings so you can copy them, but let's get this thing going. It is a slight breeze today, a um, couple mile an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and arm. She's armed. I'm going to put this thing in loiter mode and I am an angle as well. So all the cameras are going. All right. Woo! Barely. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. That sucker. Woo! That sucker barely made it in the air. Okay, so we're going to take it off loiter. I don't think this prop is, this prop and motor is the best setup. I'm going to try a bigger prop, but this just gives you an idea. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm, I'm in angle mode. We're going to get this thing up in the air. We're going to start going over some stuff. Get some height, get some height. Okay. Back in manual. Okay, an angle. So at 50% throttle, I am pulling 5.3 amps. I'm pulling 5.3, 5.5 amps, and I'm going 50 mile an hour. And I have a 3D speed up too as well. Um, I'm gonna go wide open here. Wide open, I'm pulling 20, 19 amps, and 75, 76, 18 amps, and I'm pulling it back down. Um, let's see what kind of, let's see how we can, let's see how well we can cruise this. So I am, I am at 40% right now. I'm pulling 3.7 amps, 40% throttle, 3.7 amps, and 37 miles an hour. So not too bad. 
this is just about this is just about at the limit um that's what i would say i would say that that's just about at the limit i'm gonna go back into manual kick it up i'm gonna say if i want to fly right around nine amps pulling nine amps continuously i'm at i'm at 67 percent throttle 67 percent throttle let's pick it up a little bit there you go 72 percent throttle 10 amps 56 mile an hour and i'm cooking um, it's so responsive. I'm telling you, dudes, I feel like this thing. So let's do some low flybys. You know what? Let's do some racing. That's what we should be doing. We got a truck. Woo, that was a telephone pole. That was close. That guy's moving. Let's get over a little bit. I'm at 14 amps, 90% throttle, and I'm doing about 72 mile an hour ground speed. Not too bad. All right, let's pick this thing up in the air. Slow down, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, again, I just love this plane, man. She just moves nice. She loops nice. She flies well. Um, just put this thing in acro mode. Nice, slow loop. We'll see if we can catch this guy. I'm in acro. Ooh, telephone poles again. I'm pulling 10 amps, and I'm doing about 60. And I'm at 67%. So I'm going about the same speed as that truck is right there. So we'll just let this thing eat for a minute. So yeah, I would say this setup right here with this motor and this prop um, is efficient. I can probably cruise it, but it's just not aerobatic. Now, see, this is kind of cool. Let's get this thing. Let's go. Let's go full manual. I am cruising pretty good right now. I'm doing about 50 miles an hour, and I am pulling about eight amps underneath that. Let's let's swing around this tree right here. Crank it down. We'll do a little. We'll do a little fly by us. Jesus, that thing sounds like it is moving. Let's go underneath these. Let's go over like that. Let's go back underneath. And again, I'm at eight amps, cruising at 60. Uh, maybe I can get the shadow of this thing right in the shot. Oh yeah, dudes. I am hovering off the ground. That's pretty cool. Um, 8 amps, 66% throttle, and I'm cruising at 50. Of course, now my battery is, again, starting to get low. It's just a little guy. Do this little creek right here. Oh, this sounds so good, man. It sounds like it is just screaming. Another flyby. That thing would probably hurt if it got you. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Okay, let's land this. Let's land this thing. We've been up in the air now for about six minutes and 20 seconds. I'm gonna bring the throttle back. I'm gonna go into, I'm just gonna go into acro mode. You know what? I'm gonna try to chase one more vehicle. Oh yeah, dudes. So I'm doing about 70 mile an hour. This guy's obviously speeding. The speed limit's only 55. Get over that. And I'm pulling 12 amps right now. I'm about to lose the battery here in just a moment. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, we've had our fun. 
a guy's probably like, what the heck? All right. So we'll get lined up with the road here. We'll go ahead and, it's going to go ahead and put it into angle mode right now. Oh, okay. We're going to the power lines, bringing the power down to like 25, 30%, 40 mile an hour. Oh yeah, straight baby. Not bad dudes. Let's go get this. Oh dudes, that was awesome. I'm telling you, this 3D printed plane, the Scimitar, this is a fantastic plane. Um, you know, it's cold right now. And again, this is printed in PLA plus. I didn't print it in PETG. I just wanted to print it with the easiest material to print it. I'm, I'm probably gonna mess around with some other um, plastics. This just works. And again, if you print this plane, as you're printing the plane, you print a part, it comes out great. Print it, a, print it like two more times. It's gonna take you a little bit, but you're gonna have everything. Oh yeah. So look how this thing landed. Check this out, right on the skids, no problem. Right on the skids. That is perfect, 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 perfect. That is not a bad, bad deal right there, guys. Let's pick it up. As you can see, the skids did its job. Woo! Just, this is just fun, man. This is fun. Um, downsides well the downside is i haven't flown this thing in summer in the heat um i think that's it uh I'm, I'm i need to experiment and see if i can get a little bit bigger battery in it if not you're gonna want to have three of these batteries to have a fun day of flying um the other thing i'm gonna do let me set the camera down this thing is awesome this thing is absolutely awesome super fun so i just need to experiment and just keep watching the channel I'm gonna try to figure out motor and prop combination that just works best. A plane like this, man, you're just gonna to wanna to zoom it. This isn't like your long range FPV. That's just not what this is for. This is for having fun, um, pushing the limits, high alpha maneuvers, flying between trees, all that good stuff. So I need to figure out battery and prop combination and, and go from there. And I hope this helps you. I hope this inspires you to do this. Um, again, this this is my first 3D printed plane. It is October. Actually, I take that back. It is November 1st. I bought my 3D printer two months ago, and this is where I'm at. I got my first RC plane back in March. So if I can do this, you can do this. Get into the hobby. Um, if you are in central Illinois and are looking for a flying buddy, message me. I'm here in central Illinois. I'm looking for people to fly with. Please get a hold of me. So, um, I guess there's nothing else to say. Keep watching the channel, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.